Poco più di 4 anni fa Daniel Cates aveva 18 anni e lavorava come cameriere in un McDonald's per riguadagnare le centinaia di dollari perse con le sue prime esperienze col poker online. Due anni dopo, quando di anni ne aveva 20, questo ragazzo del Maryland era già diventato Jungle Man 12, ossia un habitué dei tavoli high stakes oggi da molti riconosciuto come il miglior giocatore di heads up cash game del pianeta. Chi meglio di lui quindi per dare agli utenti di Italia Poker Club qualche semplice consiglio su come scalare i livelli in fretta? Really, one thing that's really important is not going broke in the first place for moving up with levels. Um, I mean, they're just like rough estimates. There's something called the Kelly Criterion, but actually, poker is much more conservative because people are very emotional. Generally, there's what you should do is have like like a buy-in per amount amount of buy-ins per like what stake you're at, uh, depending on like the variance and the skill of the other players. Like if you're playing. Um, and that's mostly just about experience, about like guessing like what would be a reasonable amount of buy-in, reasonable number of buy-ins to play each stake that you're playing. For example, um, if you're playing like the lowest limits, like $10 buy-in or 10 euro buy-in or whatever, you could probably comfort, and you're competent, you could probably comfortably be like 20 buy-ins rolled. But if you're playing against more competent opponents at like 200, I mean a uh, 2-4, like a 400 euro buy-in or whatever, then you might want to have like 40 to 50 or something. So it depends on what kind of stakes you're playing, but the key is never going broke. And basing your bankroll based on the percentage of, basing the limits that you play based on how much you've invested in, uh, in the game and also in the variance. How much of yourself is invested in and in the variance. Uh, it's really important to have to, when you put money on the table, to be willing to lose it. Like that's like an old adage in, uh, in gambling is like, be willing to, to lose what you're, what you're risking. That's very important. Like if you just follow that, then by all means. Like if you imagine you, if you've already lost it, would your life be any different? Um, I've had some coaching for PLO and uh, I've like talked with many friends and I've like read books at one point. I also watch videos. Videos are very useful, the online videos. Um, like I make videos for PokerStrategy.com and uh, like, yeah, so uh, like they have some very good videos. Uh, other sites also have good videos as well. Um, Be, I would say studying is very, very important, actually. Uh, but it's like one third or one, or maybe even less than the game of the game. Like a lot of it's just experience and practice. Yeah, certainly since the game is evolving and now like more stuff is coming out as to like what is playing optimal. Um, people are finding out more and more stuff and like uh, you really have to keep up ahead of the times if you want to be success successful at this kind of thing. Um, tournaments, not as much so because you know they're more softer opponents, more amateurs. But like where there are many professionals, you and you're trying to beat them, you have to like keep up with the times.